is lots to tell. It features an entirely new naturally aspirated 3.8 liter flat 6 that develops 469 bhp and revs to 9000. The suspension is 30 mm lower than the standard 911 Carrera and the monocoque is a whacking 25 per center stiffer than the old one. It's a big step forward in every area. But also a controversial one. You're referring to the fact it's 35 kg heavier than the old one? That's neither here nor there really, but is nevertheless surprising. No, the controversies surround the gearbox and the steering. This GT3 features electric power steering and a PDK double clutch gearbox. No manual gearbox available at all. The steering is also corrupted by a four-wheel steer system that can turn each rear wheel by up to 1.5 degrees, which claims to make the GT3 feel more nimble into corners. It all works. And yes, that includes the gearbox. Let's deal with that first as it alone fundamentally changes the GT3S character. It does this in two ways and the purest in you will not like them. By allowing your left arm and leg to be redundant and waft along in auto you're naturally less involved in the physical process of driving the GT3, it doesn't demand anything of you. However, there's no denying that this change also significantly broadens the GT3S repertoire and opens it out to a much wider audience. An audience that will probably also not mind the fact that refinement is acceptable and the cabin can be optioned to be perfectly comfy and well stocked with kit. In many ways it's as habitable as any other 911. Albeit without the benefit of rear seats. There aren't many. Before driving the GT3 I would have guessed the Lotus Exige for half the price, or the Noble M600 for twice the price, but the GT3 is now more sophisticated than either. In fact it feels a more direct rival for the Ferrari 458 and McLaren 12C than I'd imagined. It's well over 50,000 pounds cheaper than either, but delivers the same sort of rich, tactile, everyday usable experience. The problem for Porsche is that this wider repertoire starts to bring the GT3 into turbo territory. I can see turbo sales suffering a bit as a result. It costs £100,540 and I think that's a complete bargain.